Hello everybody and welcome to my channel Reality is Broken. I am your host Mr. V and today we shall continue our journey further into ancient Han Dynasty in China. The game we are playing is Chuan Yuan Sword 7. I'm sorry if I butchered that name because I do not speak Mandarin or Cantonese unfortunately so please forgive me. As always, if you do like my content then please do leave a like, share, subscribe or a comment so that I can keep making such wonderful content for you in the future. Thus far in the game, what have we done? We have successfully managed to beat a few boss battles, also a few bosses in the game. Uh, and we somehow, in the last episode, we managed to successfully solve the problem of the... I forgot the name of that thing, this this uh, magical astrology thingy that was there. And we managed to successfully solve that issue, fight a lot of monsters, save the village. And that all happened because my sister, Taishi, in the game... No, not sorry, we're both Taishi, but Taishi Xiang in the game decided to somehow go solo. Because she felt she was powerful enough to defeat all the enemies without thinking the consequence of her actions. Completely true. But, the cleanup was done, I, like a good brother, saved the day, of course, do I have health? Yes, my health is full. And now we are headed back to the Guigu Basin. I hear some rumbling noises, oh, there are still more people lying somewhere here, come on you Shoot. monsters! the problem super kicker super kicker in the face nice Stop throwing projectile weapons, you witch! What are you doing there? Get out of there! Damn you! Damn you, witch! Let her come out, let her come out. She seems to be stuck in a corner somewhere. Damn it! Has the game glitched? No, she somehow came out of there. Did she? And she's still not dead. Damn it, this cheer does have a lot of health for a witch. Stupid witch. Okay, so we still haven't... Um, oh, no, we did save the village. But now we are on our way to the Gaigu Basin. The Guigu Basin. And hopefully we make it there in time. Come on. Oh man, still more people? I thought we cleared them all. See ya. Come here, you fat guy! Suck him into the void! Suck him into the void! No? I'm level 33 for some reason. I have no idea why I'm level 33, but... 
Yeah, the game gives us random XP at the end of every... I wouldn't say random, but it gives us some amount of XP at the end of every battle and we have no idea what XP we get because we never see. I only saw that once thus far in the game, the XP. I think at one mission when it was completed, it showed me what XP I got, but otherwise I never see the amount of XP I make after I kill monsters, after I kill... Uh... Ah, Whoa, 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 buddy. Escape, Paul Ramos. Shut up. Is he dead? Get sucked into it! Okay, that's a lot of enemies. That is really a lot of enemies. And they're not even the good kind of enemies. They're just like the dumb kind of enemies. The game's AI system truly is non-existent. There is no AI in the game. The game's idea of AI is I throw 20 enemies at you and basically, yeah, that's the AI. And you have to defeat them somehow. Because all the enemies pretty much, yeah, target you and only you while ignoring all the NPCs who are also attacking them. Because why attack the people who attack you but only attack the protagonist? And have an idea? Oh man! Die, die, you headless monster! Kick in the face! Quiet. Oh man, this area is full of these people. Seriously, it seems like it's never ending. We just run away from all of them. Screw this. Okay, I cannot. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Can't climb? Now I can't climb. See, this is a problem of having uh, interactive uh, trigger-based mechanism to traverse the open worlds. Because when you wanted to escape from those things, I couldn't escape because the triggers were inactive. Which would allow me to climb a ledge, while in a normal open RPG, you wouldn't have the problem at all. Puking poison at me. Kick in the face for the puke. As I was saying, that is the problem of having a game where everything is triggered uh, via triggers in the environment. So basically, traversing the environment. Though it's easy from a coding point of view. From a development point of view, because then you control 
closely uh, how a character is going to move in a specific part of the terrain and uh, how the camera work moves and how the camera work camera adjusts and everything while having a completely open world traversal system means you often have to tweak your camera a lot otherwise you get a camera being stuck in um, yeah weird angles that you did not want it to and which basically means your visibility is really hindered it happened a lot in the old Prince of Persia games if you've played them the sands of time the the two thrones and uh, over the last one while doing parkouring sections or puzzle solving sections the camera would somehow be stuck in a weird angle and then you had to guess kind of if you had to move your joystick forward or to the left to make the jump correctly or else you would basically die and the trigger mechanism is solves that problem but the trigger mechanism now has the issue that during a combat you basically yeah cannot escape oh the dragon bone crossing that looks nice Nobody is listening. Nobody is listening there, buddy. That is your death. So, yeah. So it's not really an open world traversal thing. The dragon bo bones look fantastic. So we're finally at the closing to the Kuigu Kuigu Basin. <laughs> soul of Inspire! We have gathered a soul of Inspire and we have gathered another treasure chest. Crimson liquor. Uigu Basin. Okay, we have to go that way. Let's quickly have a look. Let's, let's regenerate a little bit. A quick break. Listen to a small story and recover. Chu has become an alcoholic. I've realized that. Every time I take a break, she brings the bottle out and she's chugging her wine. Okay, nobody's talking? Really? That's the mood. I seem super tired. The parrot doesn't care. Chu is, in, is drinking her her misery away. My sister seems to be feeling guilty for all that she did, which is why we are this far up north. Aha! We found another clockwork Oh, the lady was responsible for all this clockwork stuff. Ah, Okay, that's the puzzle piece, it seems. What pattern? I don't see a pattern anywhere. Oh, okay, the pattern's on the wall. Okay, that's interesting. The pattern's all on the wall, and the pattern on the pillar matches the pattern on the wall. So first one I need is the... Oh, they all look the same. They all look the same to me. The wrong direction. Ah, 
What do you want me to do, game? I do not know. Damn it, the puzzle does not seem to have any logic behind it. All the windows look the same and the patterns on the windows don't match the patterns on the pillar. Okay, he's not complaining. Come on. One, two. Ha! Shall they see the No, this press two of them. Okay, this presses. Ha! Shall they see the that presses three of them, so all five need to be pressed at the same time. Maybe that is the trick? Okay. Um. <laughs> Shut up, stupid parrot. One. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know. This is... Right, this is two. That is three. This is also this is four. What? You don't get That's not helpful. This opens two windows. Well, all three windows should open here, I think. Opens only two windows. That doesn't help. Okay. Okay, both the windows are open now, and we open five of them. Let's start from here. One, two. Three. Four. Five. Yeah, but the puzzle is totally random. There is absolutely no clue what I'm looking for exactly and the pillar makes no sense at least to me unless I missed something on the pillar that I was supposed to read there what does it say the pillar exactly one six no idea the, the puzzles here actually could use some more explanation as to what is expected in a puzzle it's just like okay Something, something you do, and you do it by brute force. Uh, yeah. Oh, no! Good question! I would like to know that stuff, too. Escape, 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 escape! No, 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 damn you, monster! Finally done. But the epic music, okay, the epic music is gone too. And then there are more monsters because why not? Kick in the face, but you have no face. You, sir, are dead. Dead, dead, dead. What do we have here? We have a soul. Soul of sprung. Need some help? What? What are you doing here? Shut up! Oh, 
in the face! Lady, come here! Wait, what is still hitting me? Okay, I need a shop quickly and I need to buy some stuff quickly. Otherwise, I will have no more health potions left to rejuvenate and recuperate. What do we have up here? Let's go up. Up and away! Got a pot. Haha! -ha. Wasn't there a way down too? Wait a minute. Yeah, there was a way down. This is like a labyrinth, which is exactly the question. How did the monsters manage to get into the labyrinth? Damn you monsters! How do you do that? He flew away into oblivion, sir. Okay. So, I had the opportunity to take the easy path, but I chose to take the most complicated pain in the arse path. The easy path was basically climb that thing and come from here. But I said, nope, I shall do no such thing. I am a warrior. As a true warrior, I will take unnecessary risks because that is what warriors do. Take stupid risks. Yeah, right. Question is, I gotta go there. How? How do I gotta go there? They don't tell me that was the only way I could take. What? Climb, climb, Mr. Zhao. Yeah, nope. Pots and pans, pots and pans. Give me some interesting recipes. Ah, here we are. For the next puzzle section. What do we have to do here now? Others. Yeah, good question. But what? Wait, another puzzle. Okay, where nothing is explained. Of course. What happens if I push them out of the harm's way? Nothing happens. So we have one, we have two, we have three, and nothing. What should this exactly map to? Damn you, stupid game! Oh man, I feel it's going to be hit and trial. That's not fun. Okay, let's 
Let's try to see if there's anything in the, in the environment that tells us what is expecting of us. So, the walls do have some sort of tablets. There's three. Okay, okay, okay. Seems like there is some kind of information here. Three, one, and two. Oh, the long bars are actually considered to be a one. And the short bars or broken bars are considered to be a zero. Okay, that one expects that. This one expects this. Are there any other bars? There are only two bars that I see. Any other bars, people? People, people, people. Okay, no, we have two bars. Which show us something. So, three, one, two. No idea what that means even, or how that does that do something. Okay, we have a three here. Maybe the bar next to it should be a one. Let's try that. Okay, so we have a three. We need to bring a one in here. Where is the one? Where is the one? The one is here. Can I push the one all the way there? No, I cannot. If I can't move them across... Uh, okay. I can't hold them in any other direction. Okay, let's push everything back completely and then try it with the sub of the three. And then we figure out how this thing works. So, three, one, two. Three, two, two. We take the three as the common denominator in both cases. How is this possible? Um, okay. Three, one. Okay, let's try to bring this two in here. Can it move? No, it can only go back and forth. Okay, does it mean that going back is deactivated and staying in the front is activated? Three, two, two. Okay, let's try with the three, one, two. We bring three, one, and a two to the front and keep everything back. Maybe that is the only thing that we have to do. Because we can't move them to the left and the right. We can just move them back and forward. So expected some sort of a activation mechanism that may bring it forward gets it activated or something. Okay, let's see what happens with this. Let me bring this to now. Come on game, show me something. Did something happen? Nothing happened. What? But we did a three and a one and a two. Okay, that didn't work. So maybe it's a three, two and a two. Three, two. And we bring that two to the forefront and see if that works out. Or maybe only the one that is not on that list on that uh, pillar to be the one deactivated while well, everything else should be activated, I think. Did something like this. Nothing happened. Okay, let's bring this one to the front too. I have no clue. I really, I, I wish this game did a better job of, uh, of explaining what is expected in a puzzle. What I'm even looking for in a puzzle because right now I have no idea what I'm looking for. I see some stuff. I do not know if I should move them front, move them back. Can I hold them on the other side? No. On the other sides? No. Only one direction. 
So I can move them front and back, but not to the sides. And uh, three, one, two, two. So those are the ones that are active. Three, one, two, two. That doesn't do anything. Maybe they need to go to the back, all of them. And just the non-active one comes to the front. No freaking idea. Damn you game. Nothing is happening. Okay, so three, one, and uh, two. Let's push the two to the back and see if something happens. We bring this one to the front. And then only the three, one, twos are active. Something happened. Okay, that was the thing. We had to push them in different directions. Oh, man. How is it some pushing something back is activation and pushing something front is deactivation? I have no freaking idea. That was all for a treasure chest. Really, game? Really? Okay, but now we know that. So, what you're gonna do is... 3, 2, 2. 3 is active. 2 should be pushed to the back and we bring the 1 to the front. What might have been an easier thing is when... Uh, or a better thing is that when... The main character is stuck in such a pu puzzle thing puzzle level that he's not able to figure out, then the side characters kind of start, start talking to him to point him in direction. Like, hey, maybe move this thing forward. See, there's some sign, signs on the wall there and some kind of a pillar there. Would have been an easy solution, which could have uh, solved us this pain. Okay, that's a shop. Okay, healing potion. Seven. Deluxe healing potion. Whoa. Ten. Pattern leather. Having seven of those things. Recipe, soul of plunder. To buy recipes. Pattern leather. Woozoo. 50 chuan, 17 50 chuan we have. Okay. Anything interesting, Mar? Nope. Let's quickly see if we can upgrade uh, something, something in Elysium now. Oh, upgradable. Fusion Lab. I need Clockwork Box. What happens in the fusion lab? Oh, now we can combine four things? Sigil of Vanguard. Sigil of Ages. Sigil of Crossbow. Sigil of Black Catalyst. Not the Headless we will do. No, Black Catalyst. When we fuse them, what do we get? Soul of Break 1. This is just random. Cotton and silk. What do we get? We don't know. Random stuff. Weapon workshop can upgrade. Yeah. What do we need for this stuff? I need bronze. How do I craft bronze? For the love of humanity, somebody tell me. How do I craft bronze? Iron and steel gives bronze? I don't know. I'm not a blacksmith. Let's look in the journal, if there's something in the journal. Factors, monsters, artifacts, travels. Artifacts. Nope. Side quests, monsters. Nope. 
damn it, game. Geography. Whatever happened to other stuff? Characters. Okay, that isn't helping. Okay, let's maybe this helps. Ingredients, soul of starved. Pattern leather. Doesn't tell exactly how to craft this. Bronze. Yeah, I know two metals. Which two metals? For the love of humanity. Damn you, game. Recipe. Pattern leather we have. Hardened leather, four of them we need. Soul of plunder. Folded steel. We need bronze. Do we have bronze somewhere? Show me bronze! Damn it, there is no bronze here. Soul of crisis. Soul of black hair. Black. <sighs> See, this is where the game, you, you start to realize that the game needs some work. For example, we had something similar in The Witcher 2, where you basically could craft potions and, uh, and you know, craft some kind of spells and stuff like that, to, or oils. But all of that stuff was integrated tightly into the menu so that when you did crafting, you knew exactly what you needed to craft something. Here you, ha you have an inventory menu which basically has all the recipes somewhere here and you have a crafting menu somewhere in Elysium where you absolutely have no idea how to craft something. Because, yeah, you have to go back and look up an inventory and then come back here and that makes the experience so much more harder. Shut up. Clockwork part. Ten. And, and that is what, you know, differentiates good games from great games, is that every aspect of the game uh, has been well thought out and has been Enough thought has been put into it so that it's easier for the uh, player to actually interact with the game and interact with the menu and interact with the puzzles and all that kind of stuff. We still have one more door to open. Now the question is, what things should be pushed back? Maybe all of them need to be pushed back? Will that open the door? Or only one needs to be pushed back. Maybe all need to be pushed back. Did something happen? No. Okay, so two of them we could open like this, but the third one is just seems to be hit and trial again. Damn it. Uh, okay, so what ones were not a part of this and this? So definitely not 312 and definitely not 322. 31 empty? Or just 3 and empty and everything else needs to be pushed, pulled forward? Or just empty? a long puzzle if I don't figure out how to solve the third section. Okay, it has some markings. Let's try to read the markings. Uh, okay, one has to be on the front. But which one? There are like one, two, three. Am I trying to read too much? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It would what? Why does it have eight markings? Okay, there are markings facing. No. No, that doesn't tell anything. At least not that I, I can make out of something of that. Um, 
met and I'm missing a clue somewhere for the love of humanity silly silly puzzle Okay, three full lines is the number three. One full line is number one and the two full lines is number two. Does this door have something like So one full line is a one. It's, it's like, yeah. So let's see. No full lines is zero there. So all the empty ones. One full line is a one there. One there. No, two there. So zero, one, two. Two, three. All the markings don't even have the pillars. There are five pillars and there are eight markings. What kind of sorcery is this? There are five factorial possibilities. And that's 120 possibilities of which we need at least three things for it to work most likely so if you take three as a common and two as a common in both the pillars so let's let's try that way we have three as a common uh what two do we have the split two the split two as a common okay so let's take the split two back So, this is not work. So let's put the zero to the front. Uh, now, why did I do that? Damn it, I had to pull the one to the front. Two to the front and we take three to the back again. Uh, the, the two split to the back. Uh, let's take this thing to the back and hope that solves the problem. Did it? No! Door does have markings, but the markings. Which one should I take into account? They all seem like they're important. Okay, zero and three should be opposite. No, they are not. Any markings on the ground here? Or they're just random. They seem to be totally random. Are they though? There are some arrows. Patterns. Nope. It's just a random pattern. Can we stop them midway through? Example? No, we cannot. We have to go the whole distance. No, we cannot stop them midway through. Damn you, damn you, game. There are vents everywhere. Maybe we just push all the vents to the back and maybe that's the answer. But that was not the answer, I remember clearly. We pushed everything to the back and that did not work out. Is there somewhere something hidden in the environment that I'm not seeing? Is there somewhere to go from inside here? Maybe I'm missing something inside. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the one. Three, two, empty. 
Yeah, that was the one. So, three, two, empty. Stupid fish! Why did you tell that to us? That you had a pillar hiding inside this stupid door. Finally, thank the heavens. Stupid silly puzzle. From the beginning, the room of the room is all about protecting the room. Maybe these room is to prevent the room from being used. From this point of view, what Do we have a boss battle now? No. A lot of green, green, blue, blue stuff I see. Quickly rest here. Recover a little bit. Okay, nobody has any stories to tell. So let's skip. Yeah, there's a lot of shiny, shiny blue stuff. Pots and pots of blue, shiny. I hope that we don't have to fight a boss in the middle of... Of course. Of course there are monsters. Come here, you monsters! of the witch has been completed. Finally, finally we get the clockwork required to fix our sister's body. I hope she doesn't do stupid things again. No. Stop saying that. Oh. Yeah, we're going to need to get Oh. Yeah. Okay. Finally, we fixed up our body, which is what we came for here. And some treasure. Of course, some treasure is important. Great shell, too. Um, can we can we smash some pots, pots and pants? We can smash one. Clock work part one. Okay, time to head back, head out, out of this mess. Go deeper into the. Why are we going deeper? Wait, what? Why is there like a dojo in here? This is fascinating. They literally built a house inside this ruins. Inside these ruins for some reason. And it seems to be in absolutely immaculate condition. Fascinating. And of course we have to climb up through something to go somewhere. Pots, pots, pots! Me wants pots. Me break pots. They should call me the pot breaker. Not the heartbreaker. 
点声音都没有呢。夫人真的在这儿吗？会不会我们找错地方了？真是，看到那些机关还不明白？肯定是大小姐也不希望受人打扰才这么做。她生性喜静，可不像你们，做什么都吵吵闹闹的。Like、大王所言极是。难怪夫人会派大王进天书驻守，什么意思啊？夫人，她生性喜静啊。Am I going in circles? This all feels like one giant maze. Yeah, it feels that way, definitely. Nope, wrong direction. Time to go back up. We are going in circles. So now, La, how do we do this? How do we go there? Can you walk here? Of course, that would have been too easy. But there's a pot there. Can we break the pot first? Pot takes priority. Priority. Priority pot. Go. I just want to get out of this damned maze now. This labyrinth. So far off. What is going on? How do I get out there? Damn you, silly game. How do I go there? Exactly, precisely. How? How in the heaven's name am I supposed to go there? Yeah, good job. This is unnecessarily complicated here for no reason. This just feels like the game put this for a purpose to waste time. So that you would spend some time running around, uh, and that'll take some more time to get to the next. To, uh, it's like artificially extending the length of the game. Yeah. Putting in an unnecessary, it's not even a puzzle piece, it's just like find your way. Awesome. I have no idea how, but I shall find my way somehow. Hey. Okay, I need to go there. The question is how? How is the question? It's the way to go down. That is the way we come up from there. I can't go there. I can't jump. Oh, I'm a little confused. No idea how to get out of here. Stupid game. Stop wasting my time. Nope. Nope. Wish games did not do stupid things like this to artificially extend the length of the game. Not how you're supposed to do that. Maybe this is the way. Did we come this way already? <laughs> no, we hadn't. Yeah. If I can't do this here, why could I not do that there? A oh, man. Treasure. Treasure, give me treasure for all this effort that it took to climb up and down. Orb of Harmony. Ooh, this looks like some kind of map of the terrain. Okay, finally. Finally, we are out of the house. 
The lady, even though she was alone, she built. No, okay. This system seems to be more complicated than the first one. Again? Let the Great Wall come down. Okay, so what do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five pillars, and we have five of them. Right. We have a one, maybe a two split, another one, two joined, and a one. We have two twos, two ones, and a two split. Okay. So, but we have okay two joined. So first one is a two on the top. Two joined. Okay, let's have the two joined. We know that's a two joined for sure. Okay, so I think this thing does this thing move? I have a funny feeling it moves. It moves the whole platform, turns the platform, right? Right. Okay, so. What we do is, we have to put the right thing in the right place. Okay, 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 okay. I see. I see what's going on. Two joined at the top. We need that. Where exactly? Okay, two joined at the top and two split. We need in that order. So we have two joined at the top, and then we have two split. Oh, this is not gonna be... Okay, at least we have an idea of what is expected. So let's start with this. We push this, two joined at the top. And then, we shall start with the two split. Okay. Okay, so two join the top, two split. Come on, come on, come on. Then we have one. Then we have two join at the bottom. And we have one. Come on, game. Uh, is that a one or is that a two? Wait, 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 wait. We can only have one, one, because there's only one, one. Oh, there are two ones. Okay, okay, okay. There are two ones. So, the third one has to be a one at the top. One at the top. One at the top. Right. Good. Now, let's move this back. Okay. 
Okay, one at the top, and then we get two joined bottom. Uh, two joined bottom. Right. Let's bring you up, buddy. Okay, let's turn this wheel. Right. Let's push this back now. And then the last piece of the puzzle, which is the one in the middle. Good thing that we can move the camera here independent of uh, our interactions with the wheel. No, 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 no. Let's do this. That should be the puzzle. That should be it. Please, that be it. No, that's not it. What? But I did them in the right order. Did I do them in the reverse order? That would be painful. Two top, two, uh, two split. Is there some sort of thing as to which one should be where? Anything else I'm missing? Nope. Damn you stupid game. What did I do wrong this time? Who at the top? Maybe should, I should do it clockwise? Counterclockwise? Okay, let's do it counterclockwise now. We drag everything back onto the, I mean clockwise. We did counterclockwise the last time. Let's do this. Seriously, the puzzles in the game are not fun. They should be fun, but without the lack of any sort of an idea what is expected. It's kind of, tricky and it's kind of annoying a little bit because you are always feeling like you're not solving a puzzle but you're trying to guess the solution while the idea of a puzzle should be to solve the puzzle to get a solution not to guess the solution and I feel like I'm guessing the solution a hit and trial because there is no method to this madness okay so let's start with the top now two on the top then bring up the split two Okay, split two. Let's go. Then we take the one at the top. Let's do the one. Okay, then we have the bottom two. Right. All uh, right, bottom two. And then comes the middle one. Come on. I hope this is a solution at least. Okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. Open sesame after this, please. Please, sesame, open up. Nothing happened. What do you want? And now this is annoying me completely. Okay, maybe I'm missing something again. Let's see if we can figure this out. How do you translate something that is vertical into something that is on a horizontal plane? Stupid puzzle designers. A horizontal plane that is rotating. So what is the order of things? Am I missing something again? No, they're all three, three, three of those. That has to be the answer. That has to. JPEG, what are you doing up there? Help me, buddy. Usually you're a chatty parrot, and now suddenly you are don't you don't talk anymore? You know talky talky? up top followed by two split maybe we should start the two from from here okay maybe that is the reason okay let's let's start the two from the one facing the wheel Then maybe then we will see if that works out. The sound design is excellent though. No matter how many times I say that, I still have to say that once again. The sound design is absolutely excellent in the game. The noise these pillars make when they're sliding on rails truly feels like you're sliding a big giant slab on a metal rail and that's the sound that friction makes as both the heavy objects grind against each other okay okay let's start from here again let's start with this thing now with two on top on the left side Try this way, that works out. One, two, push back two. Last one, please open sesame now. Finally. Damn you stupid game. Silly game. I wanna be out of these ruins. Puzzles make no sense. No, not- I told you! Another door. Hey, 
，他再透过这道暗门逃往别处。别处？是啊，就别处。Like、大小姐不在一级，定是到莫浪河去了。莫浪河，莫浪河。希望真是如此。这道暗门绝对是通往莫浪河的通道。四处找找吧。待会儿一定接得到大小姐。Into the secret passage。大王这么笃定？这可是我与大小姐在漫长岁月中培养出来的默契。况且，当年大小姐也是在莫浪河边遇到我那仆人的。走吧，快往莫浪河去。Thankfully, that was just a simple push, and nothing too complex. 子旭，嗯，香儿跟我说，这些年你给他讲了不少故事，主角可都是红儿呢。啊，是有一些。我也想听听子旭说故事呢，一路上可都没听你说过。嗯、呃，好。呃，上次说到哪儿了？说到猴儿上了月宫。呃，对，上次说到月宫的月宫。阿、啊、兄。呃，好，这段跳过。嗯嗯。那么，就从红儿抵达月宫后说起。月亮上有许多漂亮的宫殿，红儿披上华服，吃着美味的食物，却还是不禁想起。长安的太傅想念长安的小玩伴，于是他下定决心，趁月亮最靠近树梢的时候向下一跳。红儿回到了长安，可是长安已变了个样，出现了许多妖魔，妖魔还把太傅给吃了。红儿很是懊恼，他想的。哎。要是留在月宫，就不会知道这些事情了。为什么我要回来呢？这时，红儿看见一头妖魔出现在他眼前。要是妖魔也把我给吃了，那不就能和太傅在一块儿了吗？就在妖魔准备吃掉红儿，千钧一发之际，两个小玩伴出现了。没错，在一番激烈的厮杀之后。红儿与他的两个小玩伴一起战胜了妖魔。小玩伴和红儿一起战胜了妖魔，是吗 ？Of course, they did. Are we out of the passage already? Still out of the passage? Come on, game. We've spent enough time in the passage already. Let me out. Ah, there you go. 前面有个草炉，我们过去看看。Okie dokie, friends. I suppose we should take a break here from our exploration of the Guigu ruins. If you do like my content, then please do leave a like, comment, share, or subscribe so that I can keep making such content for you all in the near future. I bid you adieu in this episode right here. We shall pick this up again in the next episode. Till then, take care, stay safe, and bye bye.